to another video. Today I'm gonna be playing with some Tipitronics products including the effect stickers to add twinkling lights to my card. I'm gonna be using some long phone products as well. I've got Elfie Selfie stamp set, snowy backdrop dry and the new push here set that is just perfect for interactive cards. So I'm beginning with a piece of watercolor paper that I've previously die cut with the snowy backdrop die and then trimmed it to 5 by 3 and 3 quarters. Next I've got Mermon and Peacock mini ink pads by Long Phone and I'm going to use them to color my background sky. So I'm rubbing my ink pads onto my acrylic block and then I'm going to use this ink as a watercolor mixing it with water. I'm going to add these two colors in a random way because I'm looking for a fun and messy look. I'm even sprinkling some ink from the acrylic block using my brush and then I'm going to speed up the drying process with my heat tool and repeat the same process applying more ink on top. To add more texture and some humor to my background, I'm going to use this little spray. I think you can see this on camera, but it looks really pretty in person. So now I'm going to move on and do my stamping, and I'm going to stamp these adorable creatures from the Elfie Selfie stamp set and that little balloon. And I'm using Memento ink because I'm going to color these images with my Copic markers. And this ink is Copic friendly, so I don't have to worry about the ink bleeding while I'm coloring my images. So now all the coloring is done and I'm going to use the coordinating Elfie Selfie dies to cut out my images, securing them using some washi tape before running my panel through my die cutting machine. I need a moon for my scene and since I don't own a die for that, I'm going to use a circle die and run it through my die cutting machine like this to cut my piece of paper in a moon shape. Then I'm using my scissors to round a bit its corners. To add a bit of color to the moon, I'm gonna use my blending tool to apply some squeeze lemonade distress ink on the edges, leaving the center white so it looks like the moon is glowing. I decided that my scene could look prettier with a cloudy floor, so I took the puffy cloud border dies and I cut two cloudy stripes using white cardstock and vellum. So now I can put my scene together and I'm gonna start by adhering the clothes on moon and then I can go ahead and adhere my cute little critters as well. 
So, because this is going to be an interactive card, I'm going to create a little button to activate the lights. One, I'm using one of the stamps from the Bus Here set and I'm stamping it using Merman ink and cutting it out with a circle coordinating die. For my sentiment, I've chose Wish Big because I thought it could be perfect for different occasions and I'm stamping it with VersaFine ink and creating a little banner to add to my card. So now you could simply other this to a base card and you could be done, but I've promised an interactive card, so here we go. So I went ahead and die cut this yellow panel with a stitched rectangle die and I'm using my starry background as a guide to mark several stars with my pencil and that's where my lights are going to be. Then I'm going to cover the back of the background with a balloon piece and this will help hide the circuit and diffuse the light of the LEDs behind it. I know this is not the easiest design of a light up card, so I draw the circuit and I'll try to explain it so you know what's going on here. So I'm going to be using a battery, the twinkle effect sticker and 5 TV lights. The effect sticker is a bit different to what we are used, so that's why there are 3 paths out of it. I'm coloring the positive path in red, the negative path in blue, and then I'm marking my, light with, my lights with black spots and coloring the third path in black. So let's say that the effect sticker lets the energy flow intermittently when the circuit is closed, so the lights will twinkle when you push the button. I could simply connect the light stickers to the negative path and to the black path and all the lights would twinkle at the same time. But instead, I wanted three of the lights to be on at the same time, while the other two are off and vice versa. In order to do this, I'm going to connect three of my light stickers to the negative path and the other two to the positive path. The stickers have the positive and negative signs written down, so make sure to match them to, cor to the correct path. The other sign will be connected to the black path in both cases. So the first thing I'm going to do is making a little pocket for my battery using copy paper and adhere it to its place in the circuit. Next, I'm taking my copper tape and I'm going to cut it in half with my scissors. This is an optional step, but I feel more comfortable working with thinner lines of tape on a complex circuit like this. I'm going to be covering all the paths in the circuit with copper tape and I'm going to start adhering it to my battery pocket so it touches the top of the battery when it's inside the pocket. When I'm finished with a bath, I always smooth the copper tape with my nails but you can use a tool like a bone folder to do that. Finally, I'm going to put all the stickers in place always checking the positive and negative signs to place them correctly. You can see that I've previously wrote the signs of each path with a pencil for reference. circuit so let's place the battery in its pocket and see what happens and it works yay
And now it's time to mount the card. Because the battery is a little tall, I need to use a double layer of dimensional adhesive and I'm going to put it all around my focal panel and also on the inside, making sure I don't cover the light stickers. Then I'm using more dimensional adhesive around the battery so it doesn't go anywhere. The final step is to adhere the push here button and I haven't done this before because I wanted to make sure to glue it down right on top of the battery. I really love this new stamp set because I was always afraid of including handwritten instructions and ring the car. And now the recipient knows exactly what to do and everything looks pretty. So here's my car for today. I really love the effect of the twinkling stars and how they make the card extra special. If you have any questions, just send me an email or leave a comment in the comment section below and I will try to help. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, here I have two more videos using Tiptronics that you may like. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day, bye!